Hey guys, we're out here on the water this morning. It's June the 11th, and I wanna give you an update on kind of what's going on out here on the lake. I'm trying to make it a habit of doing this every couple of weeks for you guys that's following along, you know, with the Kentucky Lake Fishing Reports. And been a lot of ups and downs the last couple of weeks. We've had, last time, you know, I checked in with you guys, it was, water was up, you know, it was like 361, and it stayed that way for about a week. So, you know, unusual conditions you know for the first of june you know for the water to come up that high and to stay up that high but the good news is it's back settled back down it's you know 350 it's actually like 358 77 this morning when i checked so looks like it's going to stay pretty stable for the next few days you know from what they're predicting so water temperatures are somewhere you know i'm looking at like 78 degrees this morning you know depending on where you're at on the lake back to the creeks mouth you know mouths of the bays or out on the main river you're looking at 78 to 82 83 degrees even you know some warm water so you know those fish ought to be driving out there getting uh, towards that main lake but uh, a few different things you know that's been working um there's there's not one pattern that is working really good right now overall fishing has been really tough you ask you know any of the guys that's been out with me i've had some decent days and i've had some some pretty pretty tough days and you know that's kind of the new kentucky lake and you know if you're if you're scheduling a trip whether it's with me or whether it's with a, one of the other guys out here on the lake that's that's guiding out here on the lake you know if you've got high expectations of coming out and catching you know, three pounder after three pounder after three pounder, like we used to. You know, like you see on TV over the last couple of years. That, that, guys, those days are just—they're not—they're not here right now. That—that's—that's that's behind us. Looking and scanning and finding 25, 50 fish schools. Those days are gone. Um, you not not to discourage you. You know, there's still ways to catch fish. Don't get me wrong, and that's what we're having to do. We're just having to scramble around and try different things. Um, the fish have still not made a good push out offshore. You know, it looks like it's going to be a lot of the same as as 2019 last year, whenever most of the fish stayed up shallow due to a, uh, we had an emerald shiner that had a really good shad spawn last year and they were up shallow and they stayed up shallow for most of the summer. And I caught most of my fish up, up shallow for most of the summer last year. Looks like that's going to be a lot more of the same this year. Um, the guys that I've talked to that have caught some offshore, there's not a lot showing up out on the main river channel. Uh, you're having to stop on two, three, four fish, five fish schools. You know, it's not even a school of fish. I, you know, you're just having to stop and fish for individual fish. And I think the tournament weights and stuff, you know, will speak for themselves over the next few weeks. You know, tournaments are kicked back off here. Uh, overall weights are going to be down. I think the guys that catch one good bag, you know, um, I really believe that they're fishing for four to seven bites a day it's you know it's just it's it's tough fishing you know it overall it's fish have been real scattered just because of the high water conditions and it's kind of just now getting settled back down to where things are kind of starting to stabilize and get normal again and we'll move along with summer but um you know water clarity we had some rains and stuff we had the hurricane push through this week i actually had a couple of days that i had to cancel uh due to the high winds so the water's kind of churned up a little bit once it comes back down i think you'll you know you'll see that normal water clarity but um like i say not a lot that is working not one thing working better than the other right now what few fish that are offshore i think are still kind of hanging out stuck in the mouths of the creeks i'm not hearing a lot of reports out offshore out in the middle of the lake like what you know the first second week of june like what we should be talking about but it's just you know that it is what it is um like i say there's there's ways to catch fish other than just beating around out there and um you know just scanning for 25 fish schools you know that that just just aren't there um you know number one question i'm getting a lot you know why, why aren't they schooling up why aren't they schooling up I'll, I'll touch on it just for a second lack of thread fin shad number one and population of fish 14 15 16 inch fish are very few and far between on this lake right now and you know it, it's due to bad spawns a combination of a lot of things we're not going to get into a lot of that but just know that the lake's fishing tough it's not what it used to be there are still other ways to catch fish there's you know there's a lot of uh, patterns that i've run over the last couple of weeks a lot of things that i've learned new you know I'm, i've lived here my whole life and i'm kind of having to relearn the lake a guy can go out fish ledges and drag a carolina rig around you could drag a big worm around i've been throwing this um this is the divine shaky worm from six cents on a wobble head a little bit or, or texas rig you know a ribbon tail worm the zoom old monster is a popular one here on the lake the guys that start fishing brush piles i think you're guys that's going to start doing good in, in tournaments around here um you guys that want to catch fish i'm probably not going to fish like that i'm probably going to get up on the bank and just fish around mayfly hatches and and you know bait fish that i see on the bank because i'm not 
I'm not a dragger. I'm, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to catch fish. If a guy wants to go throw a big worm, that's what we'll do. At the end of the day, I think you're just going to get a few bites on it. It's just, it, and it'll be quality. You know, when you catch those fish on the, on those baits, it'll be quality. Um, the offshore deal, another thing that I like to do, I like to throw a big swim bait. Um, this is the Ignite five inch swim bait. It's, um, I've got it on a three quarter ounce jig head. And a lot of times out here nowadays with, you know, the fish, fish so scattered out few and far between, I'll actually go out and just just throw a swim bait, pull up on a spot, just wind it around real slow. So that's another technique that I'm doing a lot of. Not a whole lot of uh, deep cranking right now, just not a lot of that going on. You know, those fish used to get watered up in those tight schools, and that's one of my favorite ways to catch them. But it, you know, is what it is. We don't we don't catch them on it that that good anymore. I'm optimistic that a few fish might show up. You know, it's just the second week of June. Things are things are kind of pushed back this year anyway. Um, you know, it's kind of a weird spring. You know, we had a pretty cool, mild spring, so it, you know things were things are kind of pushed back a little bit. But overall, the most consistent thing that I've seen over the last couple of weeks, and and what I've been doing out here this morning, number one is the emerald shiners or whatever the shad that have spawned. They're all over the lake. I don't know exactly what Friday is. I had a brief conversation with uh, one of the local biologists here the other day, and they weren't they were still unsure. You know, they're still so small, but. It's looking like uh, most of those are an emerald shiner. And what you've got going on, if you get on anywhere in the lake, if you go back in the creeks, you get on the east bank, I'm over here on the east side, the LBL side today, and you'll see a lot of big gizzard shad that's running that bait. You'll see a lot of skipjack that are up just popping them. And a lot of those fish are actually up around those um, and feeding. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm catching a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, but you know, on a good day, I'll catch a good number of 13 14 inch fish and occasionally you'll catch a keeper you know if you catch three or four keepers and catch you know 10 or 12 you know short fish you've had a good day you know it's it's um i know it's what not a lot a lot of you guys come to kentucky lake you want to go ledge fishing and uh, catch a bunch of fish but you know it's that's what we're doing i'm not catching a whole bunch of numbers of keepers of fish right now and it's just you know it's that's just, it's just the way it is but um the the most consistent thing for me has been a little um, three inch divine swim bait, a little Kitek swim bait, you know, anything a little small swim bait on just a three sixteenths, eighth ounce, even a quarter ounce, you know, depending on what the wind's doing. Jig head, just like that right there. And just winding it around, I've got it on a spinning rod. I, I throw it on a spinning setup anytime I'm throwing something small like that. And just going down, going down the bank, you know, old school. Um, you know, you can catch some fish doing that. You can just put it on, go fish around gravel washes, gravel banks, uh, banks with chunk rock mixed in. You know, that's kind of been the most consistent thing for me. And, you know, everybody, you know, knows about the Ned Rig. I don't have to touch on it much. But anytime the bite's tough, you can put on a Ned Rig and go catch some fish. So if you're just looking to have some fun and go catch some fish, put you on a little Divine Swim Bait and a little Ned Rig and on spinning rods and go fishing and you'll catch you some fish. It may not be the quality there, you know, but but you'll you'll catch a good number of fish. Still catching some on the swim jig, you know, on laydowns and stuff with the wind blown up on it. The shad is pushed up in there, so I'm still catching a good number of fish on a shad-colored um, swim jig. And then one thing over the last few days that I've found is the topwater bite is picking up. I've, I've been throwing the, the dogma, tossing it around just a bone-colored topwater, any kind of shad-colored topwaters, a couple of things. You know, number one has been a little breezy mornings. Uh, we've had this little cool front come through, so that's helped it. And I've seen a little bit of a um, mayfly hatch. I saw that just a few days ago. You know, I was actually tossing that swim bait around and I hit a, a couple of low-hanging branches and some, some mayflies. So you guys have been out here, you've seen that. Anytime that mayfly hatch, that first mayfly hatch happens, it's time to pick up a top water and start tossing it around. And I'll toss it around in the mornings, you know, from, from here on out all the way through the fall. So. Um, that's kind of it. You know, that's kind of what's going on. I know everybody expects me to say, hey, they're biting a crankbait, they're biting a big worm, and they're biting a, you know, big swim bait. But it, it's, you know, it's kind of the new lake. You know, it's it looks like this year's going to be more of the same as last year, unfortunately. Um, you know, there's still ways to catch fish, though. So you guys that are coming, you've got trips booked with me. You're going with other guys out on the lake that are coming to visit Kentucky Lake and come down here fishing. The good news is you can still catch fish, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot a good number of people that just want to go out and have some have some fun and 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 that's good for me And then I've got you know my my tournament guys who like to go out and they want to read the electronics and learn and we're managing You know, it's it's still um, 
you know, you, there's still some fish to be seen. You just don't see those big numbers of fish out there. So hope that helps you guys put some more fish in the boat over the next few weeks. I'll be out just about every day. I've got trips booked every day. If I can help, um, you guys shoot me an email, info at brandonhunterfishing.com and uh, check out all my social media stuff. Follow me on Facebook, all that good stuff. But I'll see you guys on the water.